All right, we're going to take a look at my 12 volt portable ham radio box that I built. Um, it's a quick view, it's still kind of in the works, but I thought you might find this interesting. Uh, on the side here is already hooked up to a removable external antenna. Uh, the one hooked up now is my homemade dipole antenna, which I've used with my handhelds and works great. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the box. Alright, so 25 watt dual band VHF UHF ham radio. Uh, what's nice about this and the setup with the external antenna is I can run anything from my homemade antenna, I can throw on a rubber ducky, any of your uh, tactical uh, folding antennas whip antennas, or for this kit, a dual band roll up with a 10 foot extension. This is something that you could hang into a tree and when it's done, it will fit on the inside. All right, let's get to the box. Um, I always wanna have a good notepad. I have here a list of programmed channels, uh, station names, what they're for, uh, locations, a few notes on some some nets, um, GMRS channels, FRSs, you know, emergency channels, all sorts. Uh, Snohomish County, King County, and some uh, Skagit County, I believe. Um, but there wasn't a whole lot there. Just my local areas. All right. Main power. This will show the life of the battery. Currently on the inside, I have a uh, 12 volt, 15 amp hour battery. Um, next is the USB and 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. Um, those are both ran off of a separate switch so that you don't have any lights drawn off the battery when you don't want it. Um, nice little light here for his nighttime. Go ahead and turn the light off real quick. You're out at nighttime, need to see light, but you don't want to blow your night vision. You've got some nice red LED for here and an LED on the inside of the box. There's a view of the battery. Can't really see a whole lot. Go ahead and flip the light back on for you. All right. And those are on their own toggle as well. Uh, followed up by two uh, power poles. They're pretty much um, just like positive and negative terminals on the battery. Uh, this one here can be thrown with this switch and charge the battery directly from some alligator clips. If you switch this way, directional towards which plug you're using, this will also be a direct line uh, through a solar charge controller for solar panels. We'll go ahead and turn it on and do a little radio test and see if we can get any. It's nice as everything is controlled from the headset. Lost the channel. Cannot get current pass conditions for snow quality. Steven, good and advantage. 
I suppose. Um, but I've gotten All this right. contact on um, Saturday. I got uh, Asiatic Russia, Russia. I don't know if you can see I that very well. Alaska, Channel 28. San Diego and, uh, all the way Coming in pretty Asia clear. Not Lake Terrace. Over to you, Ed. All right. Yeah, I like. like so that's uh, a pretty clean really, signal from there. <laughs> I don't know, it's a lot of fun. I've got the uh, the instructions up here, and it looks like well, it doesn't look like. So what they explain is yeah, that's about it. Thought I'd share. Uh, to replace uh, our TDY in the yeah. contest mode. There it is. Um, so there's that. Mobile emergency uh, communications. Let me know what you think.